Hey guys. <laughs> Jesus. I just finished filming a video for my Instagram on the super basic look. I think I might just do like the face part and it just be like my summer foundation routine. I don't know. Andrew's over there They're doing whatever he does. I'm winning. <laughs> I'm about to go get his Chick-fil-A because we're really, really hungry. And I'm going to take the big boy toes with me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say that on the stream. <laughs> I haven't even showered today. <laughs> well, that's your fault. You have some lipstick on your teeth. Oh, do I? Yep. Ugh. Let's go see what they're doing. Tobes, you want to go? You want to go for a ride? You want to go? Come on, Tobes, let's go. Look at Tobes, he wants to go. And bang! Bend it, both of your ears are messed up, bud. Ain't a beer cold enough, whiskey shine strong enough, it's gonna bring me back to you. So I pretty much spent the whole day just chilling, watching TV. Me and Andrew watched, started watching a show called, I cannot remember the name of the show. Anyway, it's about this guy and he becomes president. Whatever the position he is called is what the show is called. They like set him out so that if something happens where all these politicians are, he'll be the last one alive. So I'm really, really liked this trend and I actually thought I hated it. I might have even spoken about how I really disliked it. This is a pair of biker shorts. These are just like cotton, the same material as basic leggings. They're from the brand Wild Fable from Target. I get a size extra small in the leggings, but I feel like I get them mostly in that size for the length. And then um, since this stops like right below your thigh, a little tighter, so I did get a small. And they are very, very high-waisted when I get a small. These are only $7 at Target, and I picked them up to see how I would like them. And um, I love them. I just love that it's like... Wearing leggings and a big t-shirt, but it's for summer, so you're not hot. And it lets you be really, really casual, but be very, very comfortable, but go out and do errands or whatever you need to do, and people think you're just, like, fashionable, I guess. I went on Target to order more. I was going to buy, like, literally, like, three or four pairs, but they only had one pair, so I went ahead and shipped that at the store. It said I bought the last one, so I was like, dang, maybe they'll come back in stock. The next day, it said they were back in stock, and I bought, like, three pairs, I think? Two? No, two pairs. And then within hours of that same day, I got an email saying, hey, your order has to be canceled because the items aren't available. Like, there was a mix-up. Then the next day, it said they were back in stock again. And it said there was like eight of them or something, or maybe four. I don't remember, but I was like, I'll buy three of them. And it would only let me add the one to my cart, and then it would like kick me out if I tried to add more. So I was like, okay, I guess those aren't in stock. So I ordered one more. So technically right now I have two that are on the way. Maybe there'll be some more in the store. It said they didn't have any in stock in the store, but you know, sometimes those things are wrong. I tried something different today with my makeup. I normally do my eyebrows first and then do everything else. And today I did my eyebrows after I did my foundation. And I remember the reason that I didn't like doing it before is because I felt like when I did the spoolie, like you could see like little spoolie marks like in my foundation, but maybe I was just like not using a good foundation or something or not setting it right or something because today I did it and I actually really, really liked it because like I feel like sometimes when I do my eyebrows first and then I do my foundation and everything else, they get less precise. Like I lose the tail and then I'll have to go back and like kind of try to fix it anyway. I don't know, maybe I'm just having a good brow day, but I really, really like the way it turned out. The temperature outside is really nice. You boys want to go outside? Are you going to bark? Like, it's such cooler weather. <clears throat> it's just not, like, scalding hot. It feels like it's probably in the, like, mid to um, high 70s. I don't know why he does this. He goes and gets, like, clumps of grass from where it's been mowed, and then, like, chews on it and he brings it all up on the porch and then we have to sweep it off but he just brings more clumps up here we bring his toys out here and stuff and he doesn't care about that he goes and gets clumps of grass or like dirt grass stuff i don't know what it is but he just chews on it he doesn't eat it i don't think i don't know if he's eating it 
Bandit, what are you doing? This camera shoots in 4K, even though like my DSLR is usually the one that I take photos with. So I think I'm going to try to use this camera if I can get a good photo of the boys. And we're going to try to get them printed on canvases in black and white to put over the couch. And I think it's going to be really, really nice and just tie the whole living room together. But only if I can get a good photo of them. So I'm going to try to do that. I thought I would use, try to use Andrew's app. Um, iPhone because he's the iPhone 10 and it has portrait mode to try to get a picture of them and it's not going well <laughs> they are not um standing still long enough for me to get the picture it's mostly him eating these clumps of grass Ooh, that's a good one you can't tell but it's pretty good the only thing is we wanted bandit on the grass that one's a pretty good one at tubs so ooh, and that one i'll see what andrew thinks and then we'll might pick some or we might just try again i might have to try and get him to help me Hey guys, it's 11.16 and I've been up for a couple hours and got the sheets in the laundry, which is like success for me. I cleaned up the office and what else did I do? Put some other laundry in the dryer. So, it's been a pretty productive day so far. I think now I'm going to make some breakfast. So nice outside. So when it's really nice like this and like cool in the early morning, I'll just leave the door open until it gets warm and then I'll shut the door. Put it on like 72 and then if the air kicks on, I'll shut the door. I think I'm gonna have some oatmeal this morning. I don't think I showed you this, it's covered in dog hair already. <laughs> but, um, got an ottoman cover and it looks so much nicer. So the ottoman, it's like it's brand new. I mean, it's not like set of the art, but it looks nice. Toby! Mary! <laughs> Want to show you guys this package I got from Flamingo. They are owned by the same company as Harry's Risers, which I've used Harry's Risers in the past, but when I saw that Flamingo was a brand, I wanted to try it. So this is their starter kit. It was $16 for all this stuff, so I'm really excited. And this bag is reusable, so I probably will reuse it for like traveling and stuff. So you get this Flamingo body lotion. I have not tried it. It says it's with White Willow Brook. Mm, it smells really good. Um, so I'm excited to use that and then you get the foaming shave gel, which I already know that I like this is to go in your shower And it holds your razor Awesome, here's one razor refill and here's the razor itself it comes in this really sleek packaging I chose the I think it was like pomelo blue and with the rose gold handle so Yeah, I'm really excited about this and I'm actually about to take a shower right now so I got this just in at time. Okay, so I just finished trying all three of the products I got and I really, really liked them. I felt like I got a really close shave. The lotion smells really good. I already knew I liked the shaving cream and my legs are smooth and they are nice and moisturized. We're gonna go to the grocery store and I need to go to Ulta and I need maybe to go to Dick's. So we'll see. So we got a few things. So first thing I got from Ulta is I was going to try the, the Body Shop. They have a moisturizer that is supposed to be a dupe for the Origins um, Ginseng Moisturizer, but they didn't have it in store. I think it was actually online only, unfortunately. 
But when I was in store, I went ahead and like looked around. I took the sample kit of this Sugar Rush, which is Tarte's brand. It's Don't Hate Hydrate, and then it comes with cake butter. It was only $12. I mean, it's tiny, but I'm going to try it before I buy the full size for sure. I felt it on my hand in the store, and it felt really similar. The only thing I'm worried about is the scent. And then this smells, oh my god, it smells just like the Bum Bum Cream. If I like both those things and they perform the same, I'm definitely going to keep repurchasing them. We'll see how I like that, but yeah, I mean, this was a little unnecessary, but I get that it's their marketing. And I picked up a Yeti because I have loved Andrews and um, on the beach it was really nice to have and... I just wanted to have something to keep my drink cold all the time because I'll drink more water if it's cold. Um, they all come with this lid, but then I bought this um, top with the straw. And I also picked up this Love Beauty Planet body wash. It matches my shampoo. I liked it so much I thought I'd pick it up. I'm going to finish unpacking this and then I'm going to edit my vlog. I've got a vlog that I want to go up on monday so i'm gonna edit that and then maybe start editing another video okay guys i wanted to come on here just to show you i look terrible so i've been outside all day but i got my first ever pr package i'm so freaking excited thank you so much to blowfish malibu this is what they look like i'm super excited these are super cute i hope that they fit because i told her an eight and Sometimes I'm a seven and a half, but. And also, uh, another package that I got was this right here. This is actually a ring light that I got from the brand. I don't remember what brand it was, but they had this coupon where you got like, it was like almost 50% off. So I went ahead and snagged it. So I ordered something that I only had to pay $1 for shipping. So basically got it for free. I saw it as an ad on my Facebook and I don't even know if it works, but Cheers. and it's an called an, like an after alcohol aid so it says to take two to four of them after your last drink or before going to bed it comes with this adorable koozie love a good koozie that is very very cute so cute and then here it is they're just vitamins is all it is that's what the pills look like it's a supplement it's not like really pills i'll say their customer service isn't the best because when you try to order the first one you have to sign up for a subscription basically you have to call to um cancel your subscription and the first couple of times i called they didn't even answer and i had to call later on so andrew got his birch box man he got this pomade he got kills Ooh, kills deep pore cleanser let's just see i'm curious what this looks like he got a facial cleanser he got a hydrating shampoo and conditioner i look disgusting on the biker shorts trend now but yeah i'm about to go take a shower wash this hair and then i guess me and the boys are gonna figure out something to eat so i will show you the ring light and my entire setup in a little bit I wanted to vlog i'm trying this beyond meat i'm not gonna tell let it's in here and see what he thinks. I'm making spaghetti, so what's on the front? So I've got my pasta boiling already. And it says to just add a tablespoon of oil into a pan and then um, just add the crumbles. So we're going to do that. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to be using this Newman's Own Tomato and basil sauce um i really like this brand this is what they look like i mean they look like beef they smell a little like spicy okay. so i'm just gonna add that and it's to just stir for three minutes and then i'm gonna add my sauce are we having a funk bomb a hook bomb you're getting closer so we're trying this meat not meat meat and so far all of my vegan meat experiences have been positive until now. It's hard to describe what it tastes like. Maybe a grilled chill? Yeah, it tastes fake for sure in every way. Like when we ate those burgers, the two different burgers I've had, it didn't taste fake. It tasted like, like beans or something else, but Maybe this is because it's frozen, but the texture, the taste, 
the vibe. Not not great. What'd you say? A two out of ten at best? Uh yeah. I feel like I would give it a zero. I so today's Sunday and I realized that since I've moved into this house, um, I have not actually done a full on clean with me, or have I? I think you've seen me do a few things, but I have a full day planned of things I need to get done. And I'm actually gonna start from the outside in. Really, really hot outside, but I'm gonna clean out the shed. This is our shed. It's not very big. We just give the lawnmower in there and stuff, but there's like a bunch of junk in there and it's got to go. I don't even know what all this is, but it's gonna go. Once I clean this out, I'll be able to clean the garage out too. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film it because of the lens. So anyway, wish me luck. Oh my gosh, well I look terrible now. I'm sweating and I'm disgusting, but I finally finished cleaning up the shed. I didn't really get any good clips of it because um, you can't really see. But I'll just show you. Look at all the stuff. So I moved like almost all of the stuff that was in the garage into the shed. So now the garage actually looks decent. Dang. He's nervous. He's always nervous. Dang, he's so nervous. He's nervous. Got more laundry in the dryer and the wash. Gotta fold these towels. Gonna make this bed. Amongst other things, but I'm gonna start in here. Let's get started. my thumb caught in the mixer which was awesome it really really hurt and it still hurts now so my nail is obviously very fucked up but I don't think my actual nail is broken but my whole finger is just really really sore so don't get your thumb caught in the mixer kids because it hurts like a lot so I did take an impromptu nap earlier who surprised I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks first uh, I need to wake up so I can be productive and then I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx first and see if I can find some sports bras. I'm wanting some like that are like really low support that just have like the spaghetti strap. It's almost like more like a bralette but like just something that I could throw on that's really comfortable lightweight and isn't going to be super uncomfortable when it's really really hot and I'm sweating. So I thought I would just check at TJ Maxx before I go all the way to Target because like maybe they might have something for cheaper. You never know. If not, I know they have those types of bras at tar Target and I know they have actually a really big selection. Well, that was not a success. I tried on so many sports bras and bras. I can't even count them. And none of them fit. But I ended up getting a shirt and some biker shorts and I can't, but I didn't get what I even came for, so. Nuts. Mm -hmm. 